this is lesson 1.3. It's called representing patterns. And the key things you have to get out of this is you're going to be using some concrete materials. I'm going to use some counters. And you're going to be doing using those counters and some patterns to make a table of values. And that means you're going to take all the information and you're going to make your T-chart which you're going to put in your output like we've been seeing. Alright? So I need Marie, if you would help me, I'm going to give them some counters. I'm going to pause the recording and then we can get that out right away. Anyway. Now everybody in the class has been given counters and we have some simple rules you have to follow. When you get your counters, they're for learning, they're not for playing. And one of the things that always happens when I give out counters, or they'll call them, they're called manipulatives, is all of a sudden everybody's eyes are on their counters playing. And there are six of you doing it right now. Okay? I will be telling you what to do with these counters, and you will be doing what I tell you to do. This is not build the castle time. You want to build a castle, and then at lunchtime, and you can build a castle. But you're not to do it now. So, continuing. I've got a figure right here. Figure one. And it has how many counters? Uh, nine. Really? Nine. Three. 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 The figure two has how many counters? Five. Figure three has? Seven. And four has? Nine. Nine. All right, you're counting really good today. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a pattern. And the pattern can be done any way you want. I'm going to lead you to the first one so you understand what's going on. And then I'm going to give you a chance to create your own pattern. I'm choosing to make a pattern in the shape of a little L. And you'll notice I have three counters in figure one. So this one right here, this is the figure number, and this is my counters in the pattern that I want to use. Now what happens is, I've got three here, I need to increase to five. So we'll see what happens here. What have I done here? No one. You made it two bigger. Um, which way? You put one on the top and one on the other side. You'll notice I added one here and I added one there, didn't I? Yeah. So the pattern is increasing lengthwise, this way. It's also increasing in height, isn't it? All right. You notice I didn't just start putting them anywhere. I have got an idea in my head about what I want to build. And I'm going to build that. Now number three. I've continued my pattern, haven't I? I've added another one on top and another one on bottom. And you should notice that I have seven of them now. The last figure four is now got one more on top and one more on the bottom here. So I have a total of nine. So far, so good? All right. Is there any other patterns you think you could create from these numbers here? Well, I'm going to give you a chance. I want you to create a three pattern, five pattern, seven pattern, and nine pattern on your desk in a different way than I have done. So you can't copy me. And we're going to then show your parents some of the patterns you come up with. We're going to actually change the I don't know if I have a place on your own. We'll make a place for your parents to see your patterns. Okay? So I'm going to pause this while you take and create your four patterns. Okay? Alright, we're back on live and Tristan is going to come here and show you his four pattern figures. Okay, Tristan, take it away. Hi, Mom. <laughs> no. Okay, just drag it along and drag it to the side. Okay, so where did they all go? There we go. There's two. Alright, so he's made his pattern of three. Now he's going to work on figure two, isn't he? There we go. So far, so good. Excellent. Now the next figure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
six and one more makes seven. He's got his fourth figure. So now he's just got to do his sorry, third figure. Now he just has to do his fourth figure. figure one right here. This is his figure two, his figure three, and his figure four. Now figure one is supposed to have three, and you can see that it does. Figure two is supposed to have five, it does. Figure three is supposed to have seven, it does. And also, both of them. That is an excellent job, Emma. Please go sit down. Get a good picture. Oh, wait. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have you go sit down now, and I'm going to get uh, Tyra to come up and show me her powders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to do some fancy delete here, okay? So just let me get some delete action. I have a little toy. I'm going to make crap for Tyra. No. All right, Tyra, show us your pattern. Now you can take another pattern. Figure two. Got three. Four. And five. Why don't you put four and put figures three and four over here on the, on the bottom there? Okay? So we got figure number three starting. There's one. There's two. Perfect. So figure three is excellent. And the last figure, figure four. We're only going to do two patterns, okay? When we get to the next example, I'll bring some more people up to their pattern. So did she do it correctly? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Excellent job. She's got figure one, two, three. Okay, so we have to move forward now. There's, here is another example. Okay. And we have one, two, three, four. There are figures in our counting. There are one, three, six, and ten. So can you make a pattern for this table? All right. So I'm going to let you figure out how to do it first, and then I'll call two people to put their patterns on. So I'm going to pause it, and we will get you up here in a moment. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the result of the pattern created by Teddy. So she's, you can see she has 
one here, and that's one there. She has three here, and she has six here, and ten here. And her pattern is increasing each time like this. You see the groups that she has? So she's making her pattern go down on angle. All right? Now, I'm going to show you one other pattern that one of the kids that, that, that Chase did for the last one. And I didn't think about this, but he's doing three-dimensional. Which is kind of weird, but we're going to show you that one. So let me just get this all deleted. And, or, and I'll show you what Chase did. Never going to get the... Now, I want to, this is what Adam, I'm sorry, what, uh, what Chase did. And I'm going to just do what Chase did. I'm going to do what you did to this. But this is all Chase's work. This is what he did. He said, here's his first one. And then rather than building sideways, he decided to go two, three, that way. So he's built a stack. But you can't see it very well, can you? So I move him off the side like this a little bit. Then the stack is a little bit more viewable, isn't it? Right? So you can see that for figure three for six, he would be having one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this stack here is six tall. And of course, for number four, he would have ten tall. All right, Raven, it's up to you to come up now and put on yours. All right, here is Raven's pattern that she created. And she did it correctly. Well, she has one in the first. She's got three in the second. She's got six in the third and ten in the fourth. So did she do it correctly? Yeah. All right, so our next step, I'm going to take a put that down. Our next step is to, oh, there's my. Uh, oh, it's assignment time. So what I'm going to be giving you is this grid paper, because you're going to copy some patterns out on grid paper. All right? It's 302. So what I'd like you to do, oh, here's stop our recording. I don't know. All right, so we will stop. We will stop.